But another big event for April is with EOS, the Ethereum killer, and their EVM launch. And let me just be real with you. I think by many different accounts, many people would consider EOS a failure compared to what they could have been. Now, what is EOS? It is a layer one DAP platform that was created to prioritize DAP performance, meaning faster transactions, less gas fees, so a more scalable version of Ethereum, yet they did sacrifice some decentralization, so that was the trade-off. Also, they're much more programming language friendly, offering options to developers in languages they already know. But why some people looked at EOS as a failure is because EOSIO is perhaps best known for holding the largest ever initial coin offering, ICO, raising over $4 billion by selling 1 billion EOS over the course of a year-long sale. So compared to the expectation, compared to the money in their war chest, compared to the hype that was with them back in 2017 during the ICO, EOS was a disappointment. They didn't really live up to the expectations that Block One, the company behind them, promised us. What's interesting is that my brother and I were speaking, also moderating, at Future Blockchain Summit in Dubai a few months ago. And we got to speak to one of the new leadership at EOS, Rat Pool, and he told us how the EOS community fired Block One. They hate Dan Laramir, EOS's creator, and now why they believe EOS is about to be the biggest crypto comeback story of 2023. If you're in crypto for more than four years, you remember the biggest ICO ever. Uh, Block One raised four billion, promised uh, uh, a very big white paper with all kinds of promises. They promised uh, one billion in a venture capital fund. And over the last few years, nothing happened. They settled with the SEC. That's one thing that they did. So uh, EOS is not a security, which is pretty unique. Uh, but for the rest, um, some people call it a scam. Uh, I founded EOS Amsterdam. I was just very disappointed over the last few years. But something amazing happened. Uh, a year and a half ago, the community was so fed up with it, we stopped the unstaking contract that Block One had where they were receiving EOS uh, tokens to maintain the software, which they were not doing. If you looked at the GitHub, there was no activity for over a year and nobody, no commits, nothing. Um, they moved all the, their uh, software engineers to Bullish and the community just got so fed up with it. We stopped that contract. We established uh, a foundation, a Canadian foundation, and we started to self-organize. We forked the, 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 bit, the, 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 the software, we renamed it to Antelope, and we uh, upgraded it. We took out 2,600 bugs. Um, we got people from the community back, so the original software developers that were working for Block One, huge salaries, they came back, they are now working for the foundation, and we are rebuilding this software and rebuilding this promise Everybody four years ago, EOS had an amazing promise. The technology was, was leading. Um, this crazy guy called Dan Larmer that has left three projects. He left EOS again, so he, he's out. Uh, but he is an amazing guy, very difficult to work with, very difficult to marry with. He's wife number five now. And uh, he... Uh, but he made a, a piece of amazing technology in it. So now under new leadership, still with the same technology, EOS is upgrading April 14th to be EVM compatible, meaning now interoperable working with Ethereum. Will they ever flip Ethereum or how big could EOS get? I don't know if it will flip Ethereum. I think it will be, if you look at like open source software stacks, I think one of the big examples is Word, WordPress, yeah? So I think this is a platform play, and I think the world will standardize on a few platforms. And I think EOS will be a very big chance that it will be one of the top ones again. It's now in the market cap somewhere 44, 40, whatever, last time I, I checked, and I think it will be top 10 within a year.